ready? Go. I'm ready. Yeah, my first artwork is Convergence. I named Convergence because it's dedicated like to the situation we're facing now of the pandemic. Like we can we have to adapt. Like you can see this little girl is trying to smell a flower with her mask on, which is not a very pleasant situation, but we have to adapt because that's what we're facing now. That's all what we have. Like we have to live the way we're supposed to live for now. Next. Mm, this is Peter Love. This one is, I tell you, Peter Love, dedicated to all the violence that's happening now, like in the world, especially, but I would say specifically in our country. Like there's a lot of uh, violence between people who are supposed to be lovers. Men, mostly, they are killing their women, hurting their women, like there's so much violence going on. So I decided to do this one, uh, talking about that situation. Next one is Angel in my dreams. You know, we all see things in our dreams, beautiful things like everyone like to see beautiful things in their dreams. This is one of the things I saw in my dreams. The next one is wretched aspirations. It's, it's also talking about the situation, especially the gender-based violence which is happening in our country, to, especially to women. Like whenever that thing happens, our parents, they suffer the most because they take all the pain. It's either it's a man, it's the male or the female. Our parents take the pain mostly. The next one, where did we go wrong? It's also talking about domestic violence. Like, as I named it, where did we go wrong? Because I don't think, like, no one can tell where did we go wrong because we're only pointing fingers. Men are pointing fingers at women. Women are pointing fingers at men. At the end of the day, everyone suffer. Women die. Children suffer. So it's a very bad situation. Ow. It's also talking, like, about... I'm also talking about... The violence, like you can see the lady, like she's shouting, maybe crying out for help, like which I believe she wouldn't get anywhere anyhow because I don't believe we have the solution so far because even if we can do laws, like laws cannot prevent people from killing other people or from uh, being violent to each other. I, I think we have to find a way. I don't know which way, but maybe we can search and find a way. Better than laws and other things, like maybe talking or dialogues whatsoever. The next one is nature. Nature, nature, nature me. Like, I believe in Mother Earth. And I believe if we take care of Mother Earth, Mother Earth will take care of us. Brief as that. Avichas. Avichas is about children. Like, I believe children are precious. I believe children are the best thing, like the best gift any person can ever get. I believe if we treat them well, like the future will be brighter because what, we, what they learn when they're young, or the way we treat them when they're young, it will come out when they're adults. And I believe like, children are not treated very well. Like, what, what we're seeing now is what was planted while we're still growing. Pretty gloom. This one... Uh, it is inspired by also by the pandemic. Like I just decided to do an angel with a mask on, with a little tear on the face, like because we all don't know 
when this is going to last or when it's going to end. So I named it Pretty Gloom. Golden Eyes. Uh, this one is dedicated just for the beauty of women. Like, I believe women's eyes are golden. Yes, you know, people love gold. So I think it's one of the most precious things. So I value women's eyes according to gold. This next one, Mbali. I named it Mbali. It's not like the name of the girl I used in the picture. It's just Mbali. Like I believe girls, little girls are flowers. They need to be nature. They need to be like as much as we water our flowers, we take care of our flowers, weed our flowers. That's what we have to do with our little girls for a brighter future. Uh, oh, forgot to put the price on this one. This one, it's a, I named it Victim of Lust. Like, uh, there's so much going on these days. Domestic violence, especially men, uh, are molesting children. Like, so helpless as they are. Like, I don't even understand why do men rape children. Breadwinner, it's one of my favorites. It's not like maybe it's the preachers, but it's one of my favorites, the dedication behind it. Like where I'm from, mothers, like most of the households are run by mothers. They are the breadwinners. They do all the work. Like, for example, like in this artwork, this woman is from cutting grass in the wilderness, in a dangerous place, just to try and make some craft to feed the family. Just, like, I believe in innocence of children. Like, where I'm from, a naked child is not nudity because we all grew up playing naked. So I believe this portrays innocence, in innocence of a child. I named this one Raw Young Lion. Like, as you can see, my artwork is mostly about women and children. I believe in women and children mostly, not like I hate men. And this one is uh, I dedicated it to young children. Like, I believe young children have a voice. If we can listen to them, we can learn something. If we can give them a chance to speak, there's a lot we can get. This one. Next one is wisdom. Uh, I believe grown old men are a bank of wisdom. Like that's where we learn a lot of things. They are like what, what, what one African proverb says: like when an old man dies, it's like a, a library bent down. So I believe an old, uh, older, the older a person gets, the more the wisdom. Brother's Keeper. Most of us, we grew being nurtured by our sisters. Like, they take care of us when our parents are not, like they are working or wherever they are. Mostly, we are, we are nurtured by our older sisters. Even if she's two years older than you, like, she'll take you, carry you, take care of you, and sometimes, cook for you and feed you, like it happens where I'm from. Conversation. Uh, this one, uh, I, I just loved to use a little bit of the Swati culture attire. Like, and I named it Conversation Ingolko. Ingolko is conversation, roughly trans translated to Swati is Ingolko. Like most of the time when men meet, that's what they do. They talk about a lot of things, women, booze, uh, and future aspirations, I believe. After hours, it's one of my favorites. Like it's also referring to our mothers. Like our mothers, I believe they are the heads of the households because like this woman, she's from work. 
and she's rushing home to take care of the chores, like bath, bath young children, cook, make the house clean, and after hours, she never rests. Eyes of ambition. This one is simple, simply dedicated to children too. I just believe in children. Like if we take care of our children, nature our children well, the world can change.